When Unity Unlimited was founded back in 2000, it was founded based on the fact that people need to work together. All right, and bringing and bridging and bringing people together so they can work stronger together. But as it has grown, togetherness and unity has to be about humanity. Okay, and so when Juneteenth um, represents freedom. You have to talk about the human factor. Because when you talk about freedom, you talk about freedom from what? And when you talk about freedom from slavery, you gotta think about all the champions and all the allies that were doing the humane right thing because it was the right thing to do. And having people enslaved and treated bad and you know killed wasn't the right thing. So when you think about the right to vote and how that helps to move the freedom to vote, Juneteenth represents freedom. And we've got to make it be more than just slavery because when the enslaved got free, we gained a whole lot of freedoms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The freedom to read and write, mm -hmm. to marry, mm -hmm. to legislate, govern, mm -hmm. which includes voting. Yes. All right? The freedom to own property and not be property. Oh, come on. The freedom to own a business that drives entrepreneurship, right? And financial stability, generational wealth, mm -hmm. right? So those are freedoms that became ours, we nowadays take that for granted. And so when we give up our right to vote through apathy, then we are part of the problem. And we only talk about the problem instead of being a part of the solution. So we are always encouraging folks to have somebody to vote for. There's one thing to go vote and there's not a good candidate pool to vote for. We've got to get in the process and vote for right people, but they've got to not be scared of fear of failure. See. Freedom is fear from failure. See, fear keeps us from jumping in and operating in that freedom to legislate and govern. So if black votes matter, but we need people running that we can vote for. Come on, come on. Okay, and so let's also talk about the apathy and how voter suppression plays a role in that. Because when you put barriers, when there are systemic barriers that keep us from voting, yes. People are going to be apathetic. And also knowing that voting, along with all the other systems and institutions in this country, weren't made for us, we are literally asking people to buy into a system that ain't never really worked for us. So so, so I, I hear you, but I also want to offer the other side too. Well, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I am free to be all that I can be, I don't worry about what's keeping me back. Mm -hmm. I overcome those by being the change I want to see. Mm -hmm. And so what I want folks to do is to give us good people to yes, vote for. I agree. Well, and so if they try to suppress by saying you can't have water, mm -hmm. and people can't get water on the uh, water to folks standing out, mm -hmm. okay, then I'm gonna bring my own water, mm -hmm. okay? Come but, but let's also talk about when that grid failed in Texas, when we didn't have clean water. Come on, we gotta talk about that part too. Oh, but, let, yeah. but, let, but, let, but let's okay. go back to right. Okay, Going go back, back to Yeah. But you know, to that end, all right, when we talk about freedom, all right, which is what Juneteenth represents. We cannot be so apathetic that we think that our vote doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what our young people, they're gonna do what they wanna do, right? And um, I don't think that I my vote matters. Mm -hmm. And our young people are hearing that from our older folks. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's causing them mm -hmm. to say, well, you know, if Granny's, again, talking in the kitchen, talking at the table, mm -hmm. you know, but I need my grannies and my seniors to encourage their young people to go vote. As a matter of fact, when you come take me to vote and you vote while we're there, yes, I okay? Love that. I you know love what that. I'm saying? Yes, so yes. we can't push our seniors um, out. And I would even say, even though they can do absentee, all right, if they're still physically mm -hmm. able to but, vote. But while we can, because this state legislature, they're trying see, to take all that away. Then again, so many attacks on the freedom, right? And, and that's all I'm saying yeah, is, yeah. if they tell you you can't, just go do it. Go anyway. get your that's grandbaby. Right. That's right. And say, take Gigi. Come on. To the poll. And Paul. Paul. Because I, yes. Because I'm going to vote. Yes. Don't let any systemic, come on, racism, come on, keep you from exercising your freedom to vote. I love it. And I think a lot of times we say, well. I, I, it's gonna be too hard. It's gonna That's be okay. too hot. It's we raining. have persevered. We, we for have how many to. generations? We how many to. centuries? Exactly. Yes. And yes. So we can't yes. get so falling into the things that are trying to keep mm. us. The suppression. Mm. You have to rise above. That's right. You have to rise above and say, it. if you come against me that way, I got another way come to on. go. Come Don't on. let it stop you. That's right. Don't keep let it going. stop you. Gotta go. Keep going. I love yeah. it.